Today we surveyed the stream where we released mountain legged frogs a month ago. The weather's kind of cold and cloudy, so we didn't see any frogs on the first two walkthroughs of the stream. But on the third walkthrough, we found a tadpole. And the tadpole was pretty far developed. It had hind limbs and it was relatively large and was from the group that we released in 2011. So this tadpole survived out in this creek for two years. It's very close to being a frog, so by the end of the summer, it will likely be a frog. And we also found a juvenile frog, one of the ones that we released a month ago. We photograph every frog and we can re-identify them based on their spot patterns. And then we weigh and measure them so we can follow their progress. You know, every time we find a frog, the next time we'll see if it's larger, how it's growing. And then we also swab them for the chytrid fungus. We want to find out how much of a chytrid fungus load these frogs have. The tadpole is really cool because, you know, this animal was part of our release from two years ago. And pr they're really hard to see and detect in the wild because the, they're really camouflaged. They can hide under the leaf litter very well. We didn't think any of the tadpoles had survived, but obviously they've survived for, you know, at least two years. So the mountain legged frog is critically endangered. There's only nine streams where they're found. And you know we're hoping to get the populations incre increase the population size. So these frogs were reintroduced, increase the populations, add the number of streams that they're found, and also to test different reintroduction methods. A lot of the frogs have settled. We've done multiple surveys since their release, and we've found frogs on every survey. It seems like it's good habitat. The frogs were not overly stressed. You know they're staying, settling where we released them. The big question, the, the big you know, indicator of how well it's doing is when we come out next spring and if they've survived the harsh winter period and where they're settling and how they're doing. 